Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, where we get together every morning. We take a look at interesting headlines from our city and our state and our country, and we take a look at your questions, ideas, and suggestions. We combine all this information and try to put it to good use as a community of English-speaking locals living here in Puerto Vallarta. And today is 26th of September, and today I have questions for you, and I certainly hope you have questions for me. As always, we give a nice welcome to everyone, but particularly to those of you that are watching live for the first time. If this is you, feel free to write the word new in your comment, and I'll be so very happy to give you a nice little welcome, and so will everybody else. And if there's something really important that you're thinking about, um, that you want to share with everybody. Oh, that's why I haven't heard anything from Brian. I forgot you were having a little staycation. How fun. But um, you need to come back so we can continue watching the, the Righteous Gemstones. And, and I know, Daniel, but it's like I need to, you know what I need to do? I, it's not that I mean for my hands to get too jazzy. I need to do something with the time spent playing that intro music. Maybe I make the intro music shorter, or maybe I put like public service announcements or something. I haven't decided yet. But thank you for noticing that I've been getting jazzy with my hands. <laughs> Anyhow, um, -pa -pa -boom. let us get started with news. We don't have a lot to pick from, which is part of the reason why we're doing a lot of questions today. So let me push the button and make this happen. Hold on just a second. Ba, ba, da, ba, be, ba, ba. Do, 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 do. Bam, there you go. We start with this bit about flu shots. Coming in October, <clears throat> local health authorities have announced that flu shots are coming in October with priority, of course, for people 60 years of age and older, children, pregnant women, health workers, and people living with comorbidity. Unfortunately, but not surprisingly, no specific information is provided at this time as to the actual dates and locations in which the vaccines will be available or whether the COVID-19 vaccines will make a comeback along with the flu shots or not. But we will gladly keep you posted as we find that we have more details about this. I know this is important to a number of people, so... We'll keep our eyes open for this. And now we're going to talk about rent because rent is out of control in Puerto Vallarta. And this is something that we already know, but our nice friends from Vallarta in Línea took it upon themselves to feature high rents on their paper today. As the fall and winter seasons approach year after year, Rents increase disproportionately through the city, and this year will be no different. 
it is not uncommon, for example, to expect to pay between 10 and 15,000 pesos a month for a basic place in the hotel zone or some of the urban colonias in the area, or maybe pay between 17 and 25,000 pesos for a furnished place, an apartment. In Emiliano Zapata, there are two bedroom furnished apartments renting for as much as 80,000 pesos a month right now. And how much does the average Mexican restaurant or hotel worker make a month? Around 10,000 pesos. So many workers, needless to say, cannot even afford the monthly rent. So many workers are forced to relocate far away from their places of employment in order to make ends meet. So when they sell you the notion of you're moving into paradise, which is Puerto Vallarta, because it's more affordable than living north of the border. Um, just do your homework and just keep in mind that everything is relative. So I have questions for you. How many of you have moved away from the preferred English speaking tourist areas because they became unaffordable? And more importantly, are you happier where you are now? And for those of you who are coming to visit or coming to spend many months in town this coming winter, um, is this catching you by surprise? Are you finding that you have to make other decisions because you did not prearrange your annual rent with your landlord and all of a sudden rents are a lot higher? Um, and another question for you, do you have any tips? For other snowbirds, um, I know that we, we talk a lot about coffee and headlines being a lot or primarily for English speaking locals, but I know you're out there. I know you're watching from uh, wherever it is that you are and you were here only for a few months and that's lovely. So if anybody has any good and useful tips for snowbirds that are finding that the rents are not affordable, Please feel free to comment and we will start looking at some of these things after the weather break, which is now. Of course, it helps if I turn the weather on before I announce it. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, Snarky. There you are. How do TV weathermen get off? By convincing idiots that the world is going to end every other week or so. Well, I kind of can relate to that. 30 degrees right now, humidity is 79%, and our temperature in Fahrenheit degrees is 86 right now. Our weather forecast for today says we're going to have pl partly cloudy skies in the morning with thunderstorms in the afternoon, a chance of rain of 40%, a high of 31, and a low of 26. Tomorrow, Wednesday, thunderstorms in the morning with rain in the afternoon, a chance of rain of 51%. A high temperature of 31 and a low of 26. And then on Wednesday, oh, we already announced Wednesday to do Thursday. Mostly cloudy skies in the morning with thunderstorms in the afternoon, a chance of rain of 77%, a high of 31 and a low of 25. And I see that some of your answers are starting to come in. Let me put myself in discussion mode. Da, 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 da. Whoop. Did that work? Yes, it did. So we have questions about rents, of course, but as long as we're talking about this and as long as we're acknowledging the snowbirds in the room, please feel free to complete this statement. What I miss the most from Puerto Vallarta is... So, as you're getting ready to come back, just feel free to let me know or let us know what it is that you're itching to get your hands on or itching to do. What is it about Puerto Vallarta that you miss the most when you are not here? And while your answers start coming in, and I look forward to reading them all, I'm going to take a second just to remind you of what's coming up in our official calendar when it comes to celebrations or things that you may be missing or looking forward to. 
The next one in the official calendar, of course, is Dia de la Raza on October 12th. This day used to be so simple because it used to be the date in which Mexico would commemorate the discovery of Mexico by Christopher Columbus. But in recent decades, it's become more of um, a date to celebrate indigenous resistance. Uh, it is no surprise that in Mexico it is called Dia de la Raza, or Day of the Race. It's a day in which we acknowledge the fact that indigenous communities throughout Mexico welcomed the Spaniards, but the Spaniards overstayed their welcome for a number of centuries, but we won't get into that right now. And of course, after Dia de la Raza, we have Day of the Dead, which is coming on November 2nd. Day of the Dead begins on November 1st, but the actual date is, day, is November 2nd. Then, of course, we have Mexican Revolution Day, which is November 20th. And then, of course, right after that, here in Puerto Vallarta, we have the Peregrinaciones, or pilgrimages, uh, that go from different parts of the city into town. Uh, to the Church of Guadalupe, and we know that that is a, a great big celebration. And for those people that drive, it's also a crazy mess around town. So now we are ready to get into chit-chat and comment. And let me see if I can do this from here. Oh, yes, but let me turn it down. There you go. <clears throat> okay, so let me take a look at all your comments. First of all, we have a bunch of good mornings, which we appreciate as always. Let me clear my... And here we go. Many good mornings, many good mornings. Um, no, I will watch my jazzy hands. Yes, 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 I will. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, I'm not going to go there. Oh, yes, I am going to go there. Uh, because Sherry had a colonoscopy. Well, you know what happens when you have a colonoscopy? Things get noisy down in the downstairs apartment. So I hope your noises were funny. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, and congratulations. I'm so glad that your doctor says you are as healthy as a horse, Sherry. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Logan says, Rent, it's not just a musical. I love it. And I start seeing some comments. Claude contributes. We moved away from rentals because we didn't feel safe. One never knows when the rents will be increased or told to be to move out yes this makes absolute sense sometimes landlords will be very arbitrary in the way they make these decisions although there are specific laws that say your landlord can only increase the rent by a certain percentage every year well you know it becomes one of those issues in which do you want to go the legal route with your landlord or do you not um, Logan says, I think of my hardworking staff that, that has to take buses over to Amapas every morning from as far away as Coapinole and Moconeras, and that is far. At a previous hotel, almost half the auxiliary staff would bus in every morning from El Tuito. And busing in from El Tuito, it takes over an hour to get to, to Amapas. And from Coapinole or Mojoneras to get to Amapas, it's going to take at least about an hour each day. That doesn't surprise me, but I think it is mindful to know that some of the workers that wait on you at restaurants and stores in the neighborhoods you're used to hanging out on, hanging out in, um, you know, they spend two hours of their day getting there for them to be able to provide the service that you so much or that we so much enjoy. <clears throat> Let's see. Pat says, definitely could not afford Emiliano Zapata. I feel very fortunate to be in Versailles. Good for you. Um, 
Sherry says we always prepare for the worst case scenario with exchange rate and inflation and adjust accordingly. Um, and then says we found our place by walking around the neighborhood and saw a Serrenta sign or a for rent sign two minutes after our landlady put it out. And we have said this many times, sometimes to, the best way to find good deals is to walk and also to talk to renters directly, uh, to, to landlords rather, property owners. And I think Den and I have something in common. We happen to have very loving, very caring landlords. I know that my rent is very much lower than your average rent because I've been here for many, many years and I take good care of the place and my landlord appreciates that. Uh, let's see. And then we get into your what I miss. What I miss the most from Puerto Vallarta is the people who live there. That's sweet. That is sweet. Luisa misses friends. Alan misses tacos al pastor. You know, <clears throat> when I came back to, to Mexico after living a long time in the United States, one of the first things that I wanted to do is to have good tacos al pastor and that's exactly what i did <clears throat> let's see oh no deb says since my income is a fraction of what it was just two years ago and rents have increased like crazy sometimes double i can't return anytime soon that is sad to read very sad to read sherry says i miss the people the most John misses the food. Oh, David, miss mo most of all <clears throat> the wonderful friends I have made over the years. Excuse me for clearing my throat. Throat that took me by surprise. Um, Albert also misses friends and food. Um, Angelica misses live music, cultural events, and charities. Also, the good restaurants and of course tacos. Um. Daniel contributes with a cue. Walking around the neighborhoods is the best way to find apartments. I totally agree. I found my current apartment because it was an Airbnb and I got friendly with the owners and I asked if they would consider renting it to me all year. You never know. This is absolutely true. Um, let's see. Back to the missing. Chris misses the nice people, weather, all the flowers and trees, restaurants, fresh fruit and vegetables, the opportunity to have an enjoyable time. Oh, how wonderful. Kristen misses all the wonderful people and culture of Mexico. It is so nice to read that many of you miss either food or people, which I think are the two most important things if you ask me. Uh, let's see. Ronald says we continue to move our rentals further away from the main tourist area for many reasons. Cost is one, but also crowd noise traffic is another. I am usually two years ahead on rental agreements. With that said, I have also had to scramble to cover a cancellation sale or greedy owner wanting more money. Local knowledge really helps with choosing a rental along with others who live local and assist me. Lots of changes in the past 20 years. Well, yes, there's all these crazy amounts of condos being built and crazy amount of investors hoping to get um, a return investment from their purchases by renting them and turning them to rental units. And that is what is misplacing uh, locals from being able to live in the city. Sad, but that's, that's what it is. Uh, let's see... I miss the whole artsy chill vibe. Hello, Rob. The artsy chill vibe whenever I've gone away. So then I moved here and enjoy it every day. I love that. It's nice to see you here at Coffee and Headlines. Um, and Pat says, well, I'm, I'm, I hear you, but I don't know who you're hearing. That's partly why I moved here. Can't afford a visit and maintain a home in the U.S. There you go. Uh, let's see. Well, you guys miss a bunch of things from here, which is very sweet to read because I know that many of you are making plans to come back in the near future. I grow increasingly concerned for many of you who are hoping to rent apartments and, um, 
you know, continue to come back to this place that has been branded as paradise or branded as really wonderful and affordable and so much, so forth and so on. And I certainly hope things do not get to a tipping point in which people start considering other destinations. But we don't have that to worry about. All I can say is if you're planning on coming back, I hope you've got your rentals all taken care of. And I hope you continue to come back to Coffee and Headlines on a regular basis to find information that is useful to you as you consider your time here in Puerto Vallarta, whether Puerto Vallarta is your forever home or whether you are here just for a few months or weeks. Thank you, as always, for joining me today. Thank you so much for your very valuable comments and hopefully We'll get together again soon, maybe even tomorrow. Have a good day.